Okay, so good day everyone. So we are now into the next topic of fluid mechanics. So which is the properties of fluids. But before we proceed to that topic, uh, we will have a short review on what we have discussed on the first session that we had. Okay, but before that, we will have this uh, chapter objectives. So first, we have this uh, define the nature of a fluid. Second, introduce the appropriate physical properties of fluid. And third, define and solve mass density, specific weight, and weight density. Okay, now, so what is a fluid mechanics? We have already uh, defined it last time, but we will have to uh, define it again. So it is, as its name suggests, it is the branch of applied mechanics and concerned with the statics and dynamics of fluids. So specifically for both uh, liquids and gases. So the analysis of the behavior of fluids is based on the fundamental laws of mechanics which relate continuity of mass and energy with force and momentum together with the familiar solid mechanics uh, properties. So yeah guys, so uh, even though we are in uh, fluid mechanics, then there's still a familiarity no? on the solid uh, mechanics of properties. So expect that we will also talk about masses, uh, force, okay, so that will be included here. Then in fluid mechanics also, uh, as what the syllabus suggests, so we will discuss the static characteristic and dynamic characteristic of fluids. So fluid mechanics is encountered in almost every area of our physical lives. So blood flows to our veins and arteries, so it involves fluid mechanics, so a ship moves through water and water flows through rivers, airplanes fly in the air, airflow around uh, wind machines, and a dam holds back water. Okay, so those are the practical uh, applications of fluid mechanics in our daily lives. So these are just some examples. So now, what is a fluid? So fluid is a substance which deforms continuously or flows with subject to shearing forces. So what, however, whatever small that shear force is, then uh, because of the property of fluid, then it will still continuously deform. So such as this. Okay? So shown here is the shearing force F acting on a fluid element. So say the original fluid element is that A b d c okay so with this a uh, shear force involved uh, in your fluid element then you will have this deformation here okay so say this deformation here is delta okay so that is a deformation that being uh, defined here on the fluid okay so liquid and gases are both fluids so fluid may be either a gas or a liquid. So these molecules of a gas are much farther apart than those of a liquid. So that makes a liquid is difficult to compress and often regarded as being incompressible. While a gas is easily to compress and usually treated as such. So it changes volume with pressure. So all of these were uh, being presented already on our first uh, session. So, I presented there a tabulation, okay? tabulation about the characteristics of, of solid uh, and gas, or even uh, a li solid, liquid, and gas. Okay? So, just review your uh, previous uh, slides. So, given mass of liquid occupies a given volume and will occur the, uh, occupy the container it is seen in form of free surface. So, if the container is of a large volume. So, yan. So, pansin natin yan. No? If we have those uh, plastic containers, so if we fill it in with liquid, then uh, kung ano yung shape ng container, so, yun ang magiging uh, shape din na uh, liquid. Okay? So, a gas has no fixed volume. So, it changes uh, volume to expand to fill the containing Vessel. Okay, so yan ang kwan. Yan talaga minsan, no? So, 
uh, it expand no? it expand the containing vessel no so lalo na if mataas yung pressure so it will completely fill the vessel so no free surface is formed okay so now uh, i will present to you the properties of fluid so in here uh, i have five properties of fluids here but i will add one okay for uh for addition no? and hindi ko ata nalagay yun last time though <clears throat> dali naman yun siya okay so the properties outlines below are general properties of fluids which are of interest in engineering so the symbol usually used to represent the property is specified together with some typical values in si units for common fluids Okay, so first property of fluids is density. Okay, so the density of a substance is the quantity of matter contained in the unit volume of the substance. So it, it can be expressed in three different ways. Okay, so in three different ways, guys, uh, involves uh, density. Okay, so first is the mass density or rho. Okay, it is defined as the mass of uh, substance per unit volume or that that is simply rho is equal to mass over volume so the typical units for that that being used is uh, kilograms per cubic meter pero na ang sum uses uh, gram per uh, cc okay uh, if if you are using uh, english unit then you will have those pound mass pound mass per uh, feet cube or pound mass per inch cube okay so for uh, others uh, also some uses uh, slugs per uh, cubic foot okay so those are the typical units for uh, for mass density Okay, so typical values for water 1000 kg per cubic meter mercury 13554 kg per cubic meter air 1.23 kg per cubic meter paraffin oil uh, 800 kg per cubic meter so considering at pressure that is 1.013 times 10 raised to negative 5 pascal and temperature of 288.1 kelvin Okay, so sample for water, normally if convert natin into gram per cc, so that is 1. Na. So gram per cc. And for slugs, uh, that is 1.939 uh, slugs, slugs per cubic foot. Okay, so those are the typical values. So next or letter 1-B specific weight or sometimes referred to as the unit weight okay so commonly ang ginagamit talaga guys is unit weight or gamma okay defined as the weight per unit volume of the force exerted by gravity G upon a unit uh, volume of the substance or that is uh, equal to this equation here okay so the, the weight per unit volume is equal to mass times uh, mass per unit volume times the gravity or uh, simply equal to weight over volume okay so yan yung uh, so aside from this formula guys okay so ito din yung ginagamit okay so yan sya then uh, the normal units in SI is Newton per cubic meter. Okay, so kung gamitan mo ng US customary, then that is pound force per a cubic foot. Okay, so that is the normal value for unit weight. So typical values for water, 9,814 Newton per cubic meter. Mercury, 132,943 Newton per cubic meter. Then air, 12.07 Newton per cubic meter. Then, paraffin oil, 7,851 Newton per cubic meter.
Then for 1 dash C, so we have this relative density or sometimes or commonly called as a specific gravity or GS. Okay, so define as the ratio of mass density of a substance to some standard mass density. Okay, what is this uh, standard mass density? So for solids and liquids, so this standard mass density is the maximum mass density of water. Okay, so mass density of water. And normally, uh, the maximum mass density of water occurs at 4 degrees Celsius, so at, at atmospheric pressure. Okay, also this is the normal, uh, the usual formula for specific gravity. Okay, so some... Uh, some uses if GS is equal to normally some uses uh, density of the substance a okay, substance over density of water also some uses gamma of the substance over uh, gamma of water so that is okay so it will yield the same answer so typical values for water uh, Water is equal to 1, then mercury 13.5, then paraffin oil 0 0.8. Okay, so that's all for uh, for number 1, density. So we will have our part 2 to introduce uh, some of the properties of fluids. So stay tuned for part 2.